welcome back to my channel simply family how you are doing today i hope you all are having a great day hope you're having an amazing week as well thank you all so much for your likes thank you for your comments thank you for your subscriptions thank you to my old and my new subscribers i appreciate you all god bless you all so for today's video i'm going to be doing um uh, after quarantine uh challenge tag i was tagged by sunshine beauty box on youtube here so I'm looking at my iPad to get the right, uh, make sure I got the right uh, information I'm about to share with you all, okay? And in this tag, I'm going to be, it's the 10 question for the post-quarantine challenge 2020, okay? Like I said, I was tagged by Sunshine Beauty Box. Thank you, sis, for tagging me. I appreciate you. God bless you. So if today is your first time coming across my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and do turn on the notification post so as to get notified whenever I upload. All right, guys, so without wasting much of your time, please do not forget to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts about this video. What do you like about it? What do you enjoy most about it? All right, and if you want to jump on this challenge, you are welcome to do so as well. All right, guys, so without wasting much of your time, guys, let's jump right into this video. All right, the first question is, how has work changed for you? Well, after quarantine, work has really changed for me. Normally before, I do do like, sometimes I work till, I mean, eight hours, sometimes I work six hours. But because of the quarantine, the hours has been cut short, okay? Not up to eight hours. Like, it's just not the same anymore because uh, they don't want... The one limited um, limited amount of people to be at work at the same time if you get my point not everybody at the same time you know they cut the hour short kind of yes and um number two says how has home life changed for you it has really really changed like all my kids you know they are everywhere in the house you know they're not going anywhere no school they can't hang out with friends because of to practice a social, social, uh, social distancing so i don't allow them we don't allow them to go outside to go play with friends they only hang around with each other thank god they have brothers that they can hang around with it has it has really pretty much changed and uh especially my little one i have to like you know monitor him every now and then back 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 to fall back and forth back and forth because he likes to go out i had to buy a uh, child lock at the door so that he will not be able to open the door by himself so try to open it what about you won't try to open it? No, can, can you open this? <laughs> try to open this one. Maybe you'll be able to open that one. Okay, you can open that. What about this one? Oh yeah, you got that. Okay, try that. You can't. Oh, oh I'm sorry. So it has really really changed. Honestly, it has changed. For me also it has changed because i've not been able to go to places that i really want to go we just moved here in november to this particular state and i wanted to explore this city but i couldn't do that now because of the quarantine so like pretty much things has changed yes uh number three do you know anyone who has tested positive for covid19 no i don't and i wish those that they know somebody i wish that god will heal them and i wish that this thing will just go and go to wherever it's coming from i, uh, I mean i don't know anybody anyone that has that's tested positive to covid19 all right the number fourth question says what is your toilet paper situation good i mean before yes it was really really bad we couldn't purchase uh they have limited amount of uh toilet paper you can take in the store but now yeah they're still doing it they're still controlling it but it's still way it's way way better right now i have toilet paper at home so i don't have to worry the situation is fine it's bam it's blended it's splendid all right okay number five what are your grocery stores like oh well it's still like I'll say it's a little bit better in some area, but when it comes to sanitizer, um, sanitizer, when it comes to uh, cutting part, when it comes to um, tissue paper, you know, sanitary stuff, it's a little bit like not like the way it used to be before COVID nineteen. If you get my point, that they, like at the high where they have, they usually display them. You will see a particular signs that say one item per household or two item per household, which before it wasn't like that you can go in there and buy as many as you want for your household but now they put a tag there that you can only purchase maybe two at a time for household so that's how the grocery store are looking like now they are not really really back to normal the way they used to look but it's a little bit better than before okay 
um what is your city like okay right now my head the city where i am things are getting like going back to normal but at the same time not normal because um we are still wearing masks now it's compulsory you have to wear a mask on the street before you can just wear a mask when you're going to a particular building like when you leave your house and you're going to do something in a building let's say grocery let's say you're going to the hospital let's say you're going to you know like you're going into another building you have to wear a mask but now it is compulsory you have to wear it everywhere the moment you step out of your house you have to have your mask on so that's the situation in my city right now number seven if you have kids what's the situation like are they home or daycare my kids are home none of them are going to daycare yes i've said it before in question uh question two i think how has home life changed for you yes my kids are at home none of them is going to daycare they are everywhere as in when i'm recording i have to control over and over like my little one my other two they are grown but sometimes they just want to be on their own they don't want the little one to disturb them so it takes them a while before they can help me to control them of course their dad is not at home at the moment that's the problem that's the that's the situation is not a problem is in school for training so and i'm the mother i'm the father at the moment by the grace of god he will soon be back so that life can go back to normal it will help me to kind of manage a little one because i don't like putting too much of responsibility on my oldest ones like they have their own life too so i let them live their life but they do help me a lot though but whenever they are kind of get fed up i don't i don't force it okay um number eight what are some negative things that have come from this a lot a lot like i said you can't go to places that you used to go before like since they open up like i said they've not opened completely i've not been to any restaurants which i i don't want to for now i would rather cook at home and uh, because sometimes i love to go eat outside like just like to have you know time with friends i can't go anywhere with the friends i've not been to the mall and everywhere you go you wear masks so i feel very uncomfortable going to the mall wearing masks it's not relaxing for me so it has really really affected me negatively in that way that i cannot go to the places i used to go before because the mask to be honest is very uncomfortable no matter how sophisticated or how stylish or how they look they are still uncomfortable for me so that's how i'm going to put it life has not i mean it has really really affected a lot of things negatively yes like for example i want to ship something to nigeria i couldn't ship it to nigeria and the reason is because of this uh quarantine thing. a lot of airplanes are not working right now and the only people that will ship for me they are fedex and when i went to them something worth of 110 dollars they're asking that they go, they're going to charge me 150 dollars to ship it to nigeria which make no sense if you do the calculation 150 worth of item and you're shipping for 150 uh, i mean 110 what of item that i'm sending to nigeria and shipping it for 150 dollars it make no sense so that's another negative thing that i think it has affected me somehow a lot i can't keep on mentioning we're not going to leave this place today all right so number nine what are some positive things that have come out of this a lot has come out of it so you know when you're talking about negative positive comes too so i'll say for me as a content creator uh, uh life um uh, uh, it has given me the opportunity to create more content that I'm yet to edit most of them and I keep, I keep on shooting uh, videos. It gives me the opportunity to uh, to grow in some part of my life. Like personally, I kind of study some stuff that normally I wouldn't have done it if not because we were quarantined. Uh, personal development, let me put it like that. And I learned some stuff along the way as well. And it gives me the opportunity to, you know, to work on myself, you know, physically and all that good stuff so there's positive part of it and during this quarantine thing is when my channel actually grow more so it's like plus for me there as well anyway it comes with negative it comes with positive but i pray that the positive part of it is more than the negative i pray that this this thing just go and let us move on with our lives so the last question is um how has your neighborhood changed yeah, not much has really changed in my neighborhood like i said i just moved we just moved to this place there are sometimes uh, November last year so I don't really know much about the city where I am right now because I've not been able to explore so my neighborhood is always quiet all the time all the time even before and after during it's always quiet so nothing has really really changed things are still the same 
the way they are so that's pretty much about it uh, 10 questions i hope i answer them right and um i just want to say thank you all so much for hanging in there and watching this video right. so i hope you all enjoy watching this video please don't forget to leave me comments in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts about this video thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video stay blessed bye bye